This is an interesting multi-part problem. Let's read it carefully. First of all, apparently from historical records, we know that 21% of all students on campus transfer to uh, UTSA. Now later on, the problem states how many students are currently on campus. So that should give us an idea of, of what we expect the number of students who will transfer to UTSA will be from that group. Secondly, of those that do transfer, we know that 18% uh, that of them um, are going to, uh, to major in biology. Uh, and so of all of those students that are currently here, we want to know how many of them transfer to USA and subsequently major in biology. So from reading the problem, we can tell that 21% of the 18,576 are expected to transfer to UTSA. We could find that number, but I'm, but I'm going to save that for a minute. So 0 0.21 times the 18,576 is, is the number that we expect to, to uh, transfer to UTSA. And of that number, 18% of those will go into biology. That's the actual number that we want to know. So we'll take 18% of this number. So the 18% of whatever this number is, is the unknown that we're looking for, the number of students who transfer to UTSA and major in biology. So we can set up a formula to do that calculation. So if we calculate 21% of 18,576, okay, that number is the number who transfer to UTSA and 18% of those are the ones that go into biology. So this will calculate the number who transfer and go into biology. My calculator can uh, work on that problem. My calculator gives 702.1728. And the problem is that, that we're really counting people here. So that would be unreasonable. I'll just round that to 702 people is the estimate of those that will transfer to USA and go into uh, biology. So entering into 702 and check the result. Great, we're in good shape.